Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Game and welcome to Train Simulator 2022. And today we're going to be looking at the new Phase 3 from backdated Train Sim on the uh, virtual district line. So, good morning, driver. It's your job to get familiar with these new six car R49 trains, which are being brought into service, replacing the old standard stock. Hope you read the stock manual and the control should be familiar to you. Prepare the train and let the packs on and then depart when the guard gives you the OK bell. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the handle down, put the train forward, we're going to open the doors. We've got the headlights on. Okay, we're pretty good. Okay, so we aren't looking at actually the new stations on the line. Uh, this is part of the old station. But what I wanted to look at first today is the R49. The, this class here, it is uh, a beauty. And this is the training scenario that does come with the pack. So I thought we definitely should do it. Uh, get to used with it. Even inside, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so we'll talk about a bit more in a second. We need to watch our speeds here, so we use parallel. Be aware, like standard, it stay, stays in parallel until you back off, or shunt, or off. I suggest you use series here, so we depart gently within the speed limit. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's uh, get the train out. We'll let the train depart here. So what is phase three? Phase three is the third installment from release, adds the lower circle district line from Gloucester Road through the Whitechapel and Old Gate, which are the brand new R49 stock, which is what we're looking at today. The existing route has had many scenery updates, new VP track, third rail, signal updates, quick drive updates, documentation updates, and brand new scenarios. So what I will be doing is later in the week, I will be looking at a live stream to look at the new part of the routes. Uh, so today we're just looking at mainly at the stock itself. We get into grips of it. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Now, a lot of people know that the uh, LU is some of my favorite lines, uh, my favorite trains, my favorite stock, obviously being brought up in London. Uh, used to go on the, the tube all the time. I love the tubes and the whole network itself. Okay, so we can uh, pick up some more speed now. So in the route itself, the rolling stock package covering various parts of the district line, including branches to Ealing Broadway, Richmond, Whitechapel, Olympia, Wimbledon and Edgware Road, and a picky dilly line taster to Gloucester Road tube. There's appropriate bespoke rolling stock, which includes to recreate the district scene up to the deduction of the S stock. These include the C stock, D stock, 1973 tube stock, battery locomotives and wagons. There is a small selection of heritage stocks such as the Metropolitan A-Class Tank Loco, Metropolitan Bobo Electric Locomotive, Metropolitan Six Wheel Coaches, 1927 Standard Tube Stock and the R49 Stock which is obviously what we are uh, looking at today. All have been custom built with their own unique sounds, scripts and functions to make the driving experience as close to realism and the simulator would allow. Inside for London Underground drivers, engineers and technical documents have, have not only boosted the functionality of the rolling stock but allowed us to demonstrate correct LU procedures and protocols. Okay, we better get on these brakes. And welcome to Wimbledon Park platform number one. Okay, the instructor, you may hear the doors close, but wait for the guard to ring the OK bell before you depart. Here we can use the parallel and all cars are motors so we can accelerate smartly up to the line speed and then go off and coast.
And our next station will be Southfield Platform 1. Instructor, when motoring, be careful when you go off that you don't move the MC too far and accidentally raise the dead man. Now apply the emergency brakes. Be sure to read the manual so you know how to recover. Yeah, that's exactly what I just did there a minute ago by accident as well. Okay, all is good. East Putney is our next station, guys. After that, we're going to Putney Bridge, Pearson's Green, Fulham Broadway, uh, West Brompton, Ells Court, High Street Kensington into the Triangle Sidings 35.
Next stop, Putney Bridge. Oh, um, watch out for the slow down gradient just before the river bridge. You might burst past the 30 limit. A little brake application. Okay, no problem. Okay, because I wasn't in the cab, I wasn't actually looking for the signal. I thought it'd be quite a straight through run. So hopefully we're still going to be okay. It's red signal here, so hopefully things will be all right. Um, we'll soon see. I'm not sure if there is there something coming. Not sure. But we can wait for a few seconds, I suppose. I have a feeling that something will probably be in the manual about this. Weak field flag is down. So we just go have a little wander up the line just to... Okay, look, that's green. So yeah, the flag is its just down. Nothing to panic about. Better be safe than sorry. Stop Pearson's green.
Okay, good job so far, driver. These new trains have more power and better braking than the old standard stock. With more practice, you'll be able to drive smoothly and make the punters very happy. Hope so. Okay, so Fulham Broadway, next stop. Stop West Brompton. Watch your speed as the approach signals coming to Ells Court is usually busy this time of day. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on here.
Okay, welcome to Earl's Court. He looks absolutely fantastic down here. Okay, drive and proceed to High Street where you will terminate in Bay 3. Okay, uh, I didn't realise I was pressing the wrong button there. <laughs> I was pressing S instead of A. Okay, Kensington High Street. Okay, now your passengers off the train, please shut down the cab and change ends. Change the blind to not in service. Our route is set to Triangle 35 Road. We expect to see the main signal ED174 red and the shunt signal ED173 clear with the 5 on the theatre. Proceed slowly when the starter is clear.
Okay, so I thought the uh, change in the blinds was going to be easy. I thought it was just F7, F8. I need to read the manual. It isn't F7, F8. Uh, but we have changed ends. We're going to go down to the siding. Okay, so that's us in the sidings. I assume that will be the scenario complete. Instruct okay, you're done for the day. You're line qualified on the R49. It's nicer drive than the standard stock. Uh, many drivers are telling us, good job as a senior motorman. I hope you will assist your training other drivers. Awesome. So there we go. That is the scenario done. Uh, I will do a live stream on the longer routes covering the whole virtual district phase three uh, later on in the week not sure what day yet so come join the discord and uh, i'll keep you all posted uh enough myself guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now